Good morning, everyone. I am finally back. I have not had any time alone at my house, and I'm one of those that can't film when people are around. I even tried last night with my husband home, and it didn't work. So, I have been trying to use fall colors in my journal backgrounds. And I, I'm more this light, happy colors. And it was hard for me to get into this, but once I did, I, I really started enjoying it. And what I did is I went into Artistic Cat, and I'll leave a link to her. Um, she has an Etsy shop, and a lot of people buy the Daniel Smith uh, half pans from her. And I bought these five colors, uh, Naphthamide Maroon, Cobalt Violet, Lapis Lazuli, Kyanite Genuine, and Green Gold. Now these two are blues and they have this the genuine stone in them and so they turn spark they turn your page sparkly. And I absolutely love using them. Now when I ordered these, I was trying to get some fall colors. I didn't know how these blues were going to work with these other colors, but I I've, I've been really happy with it. And I've loved this green gold. Everybody should have this green gold. This green gold does what the naphthamine maroon does. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's naphthamine. It it um, spreads out when you put it with a different color or, or water. So And then I just pulled some other, some Van Goghs, some Holbeins, uh, some other Daniel Smiths uh, that I had that could work in this fall, and I started setting me up a, a fall palette. So first of all, I'm going to just kind of show you some of the fall pages that I did, and then I'm going to go in and show you how I did some of them. Now this this was with a new Prima set that I got, Pastel Dreams, and I'll be I'll be doing a video on that. But it's so funny. This this just seemed out of place with my fall fall uh, journal pages. And I really like this for this time of year, which surprised me. Now this one I used a stamp first and I really liked the way that um, it didn't run or anything. It stayed. And then I did the watercolor on top of it. I love this one too. Now this one I went in and did some stamping and some other just plopping of leftover stuff. This I don't care for. This was with acrylic paint. So in that, that's all in that book. This is my Bible study book. So what I've done is I pulled out all the different TNs that I'm currently working in in my, in my different books. So now this, let's start from the back. This one I just did a green and here again, I don't know if you can see, but I did use some of the genuine colors to make it sparkle. This one I tried a lighter fall color look. This one was with the Pastel Dreams. Here again, it just seems so out of place. Loved this page. This was just playing with the new colors. This was uh, the green gold, the naphthamine maroon, and I think maybe I just used those two colors on that page. And then this was, I added in some blues with the greens from my extras. Here you, I don't know if you can see this, but this sparkling through of the Kyanite Genuine and Lapis Lazuli shows through. And then these, these were, these were done earlier. Yeah, those were my summer ones. Now this one, I hope this, this shows. This, the, the sparkle really came through and I love these colors together. Had fun with that page. Here again, these are, these are all almost, well, they're all with Daniel Smith watercolors and a, I used a few Holbeins in there too. There again, that's that Pastel Dreams didn't work. This one I liked, I did some stamping. Again, the Pastel Dreams. And yeah, then the rest of them are summer ones. And then I did this page. Here again, just pretty much using those same colors. This was with Pastel Dreams. So that one day, I, I go in pre-prep pages. I was going through all my journals and using just the Pastel Dreams. They just came in. So. Now this one, this one kind of ran. and But you know what? I kind of liked, I kind of liked the messy look of it. And I stamped a little butterfly. There I was just using the greens and blues for the fall colors. 
see if I did it. This one here is my Letters to God book. Yeah, that was all the fall in that. Now, last night I was going through and adding in some acetate papers and whatnot. This is a new creative journal that I made this last week. So I've kind of been enjoying uh, that. And this, my creative journal, all that goes in here is my happy stuff. My, my other journaling, you know, the spilling out of the everything, that goes in my morning pages and, and other places. But this one, I do just for my happy. I like the way these turned out. And in here again, I added uh, a couple of stickers and then this Today Acetate. Here again, Pastel Dreams. This one here, the writing came through from, from here, so I put it over with stickers, but I don't really care for that. I, I may take all that out. Now this was me testing out the Pastel Dreams. And before that, I was using my paints from Artisticat. This is an Allie Brown printable. I really liked this page. I went and had lunch with my adopted little grand girl, my daughter's best friends, best friend and her children. And so I I like that color with this page. Usually, usually I, I pretty much journal in order. I'm kind of getting away from that a little bit, but I like that with this. So and I put Hello Beautiful there. Did some stamping. And I really, really liked this page. Here again, I don't know if you can see through the sparkle. I added some acetate onto that and a little ephemera onto that. This one, I really like this page too. This was the boys at the museum. We had free entrance this second Saturday. Now this too, the sparkle, I really enjoyed. And I cut this uh, piece, piece of uh, vellum in half and added a sticker there. And then I really liked this page too, especially when I added these, these things here. These are some Allie Brown uh, printables. This I did last night. I printed out some of her, I think that was her, her October printable. I did not like this page. And then when I added that, then I thought, okay, I can see this coming together. And now this page here, this was her printable. Now this, this uh, piece of artwork she did here, she was telling us about Mindy Lacefield's class on how to do these little girls. And I went and took the class and I so enjoyed it. And so last night I printed off some pictures of the girls that I did. So, but I, re I really liked that page. In fact, I almost didn't do, wasn't gonna put anything on it because I just liked that page playing. And I, I did a video, I think, of showing how to do that. So that is all my fall pages there. So I thought we, I got my paints all juicied up and I thought we'd just kind of go through and work through some of these books and I'll show you how I did some of the stuff. Of course, it won't, it won't turn out the same, but we'll try. So I'm gonna use my Isabi number four um, squirrel mop brush to start with. I did bring out a couple of my other mop brushes. I kind of like to do little loop-de-do work with some of these uh, smaller brushes. And then I also brought in some of these, these brushes. I, I haven't used these before with my uh, watercolor, but we'll see. And then I also brought my travel brush that I really like. So I'm not sure if I'll use that one either, but we'll start with this one here. And then again, I'll also be pulling from my main palette of uh, Daniel Smith watercolors too. So, yeah, I am just not a fall person. I I, I love fall. That was totally wrong. I'm, the colors are just not my colors. I am always the bright, happy colors. But uh, this is this has been fun. Now, something I started doing yesterday was I was taking these genuine colors and just kind of doing the background of the page with them. So that one there is the kyanite genuine. You can see, kind of, it, it spreads really well and. And I, I didn't want it, too, I don't want it too dark. I need some more water. But then once you get your whole page wet, it's just amazing how, when you plop the waters on top of it, 
how fun it is and how, how it goes everywhere. Now you do have to be careful. Some of my pages stuck together because I got too much water. So you always want to take a paper towel in there and get up all the excess water when you're done, which is kind of annoying, but you know what? Hey, no pain, no gain, right? Okay, so we're going to start out, I think we'll start out with the green gold. Kind of let it do what it wants. I am so excited fall is here. I went and did my laps this morning. I had to get out and get gas after I did my laps. And I I just put on my cover up and come home. And I have to tell you, it was pretty cold pumping my pumping my gas out there with my wet bathing suit on. It's not gonna get higher than this the sixties today, so okay, so there's the uh, Daniel Smith Green Gold. Now we're going to bring in some of this maroon. Now you can, these are opposite of the color wheel, so they can muddy up, but actually I, I love the little bit of brown that it turns to, and also it turns to a really beautiful fall gold color when, when you mix these two. See, there's a little bit of brown, but it also, uh, I don't know. I do like these two mixed together, which is something I, I normally wouldn't do. Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit of that blue. See, just that, that much. Couple couple seconds. And you've got some pretty background pages. Now right there, that needs more water. It's kind of seeing too many. I don't like to see any of my brush strokes. Okay, now I love that I love this cobalt violet of Daniel Smith. 